Hey guys, it's Ryan from Peak Custom Fitness Solutions. Uh, today I want to talk to you about foam rolling. So foam rollers come in a number of different sizes uh, and types. This is a 36 inch brown foam roller. Uh, this is a high density one. Usually these come in this charcoal or black color. Um, softer ones don't really do much good with what we're trying to address. Foam rolling is a great tool to help aid in stretching for mobility. So we're going to use foam rollers to break up tension that is in our muscles uh, and in our fascia. I'm going to show you guys three different techniques today. Uh, first one we're going to do is to center of the quad. So think of your quad as being split up into like three general regions. We have the middle third of the quad, we have the outer third, and we have the inner third. Today we're going to target the middle third, right? One of those muscles in there is your hip flexor, it's called your rectus femoris. And then the outer third is where we build up a ton of tension when we're doing high volume exercise, when we're doing a lot of mileage running, uh, whether it's field work or whether it's just steady state straight line running. Um, if you couple that with some core movement patterns, including a over pronation pattern of the knee falling in and the foot flattening, these muscles in the outer thigh get really tight. So that's kind of the origin of the problem. And a lot of times that will show up later on with IT band tightness and uh, pain. Uh, we call that IT band syndrome. That can run down into the lateral knee aspect as well. So a good way to just target getting rid of that muscle tension is using the foam roller on almost a daily basis just to dress those tight areas. Uh, really think of them as uh, the trigger points that keep muscle from lengthening and contracting the right way. So these certain areas just hold tension and we're going to break them up. So we want prolonged tension on the foam roller. So really it should be called foam roller sitting on the side versus foam rolling because we don't want to move up and down very fast. We want to put a long tension on those areas. So I'm going to demonstrate these three different areas that we're going to do. We're going to hit the middle quad, the outer quad, and also the one on the calves. They build up a lot of tenderness and tightness as well with high volume, running, field work, sports, and so on. So first one's going to be the middle of the quad. And what we're going to do is address the roller with the roller under just half of our body. So I'm putting the foam roller under the right side of my body. And I'm going to start right on my hip bone. So if you follow the side of your pelvis, you can just trace that forward. At a certain point, you feel a landmark where your pelvis starts to turn down. That's where your claws attach right up there. So we're going to start on that point. I'm going to get down in the front plank position. And we're going to slowly roll up and down. And the guideline is one inch per second of movement. So if you think about it, now my quad length is probably 20 inches, so it should take me at least 20 seconds to get from top to bottom. All right, so as I address the roller and put the hip bone down there, my leg that I'm rolling is pretty passive. I want to make sure I keep that quad totally relaxed. My left leg I'm using, my arms I'm using to support my body and move myself up and down. So put the weight on the left toe, abs in so you just protect the spine. Slowly roll down that foam roller, and this is about the pace that I recommend. If you find spots that are really tender, you can stop and just hold, and the time under tension is what's going to really help trigger the signal and relax those areas that are hyperactive. So slowly move forward on that roller, really continue moving, I'll fast forward. You want to basically get down to the bottom of the quad, so right at the top of the kneecap is where we want to stop, build the tension on the kneecap itself and then we come all the way back up nice and slow, one inch per second. All right, make sure that the kneecap and toe are pointed directly down to the ground. Right? As we transition to the next one, all you're going to do is put the left hand down. You're going to open up the hips to a 45 degree angle from the ground. So as you can see, my bottom toe and knee are pointed down at that 45 degree angle. I bend the left leg a little more to help me hold that. And now instead of being on both forms, I'm on my left hand here. So I open up, and I'm going from the same point that you bone, but I'm down the lateral aspect of the quad, so I'm on that outer third. So I come all the way up to the hip bone again, move my leg out of the way so you guys can see. So if I'm right there, step in front, slowly coming all the way down, and fast forward it. That's where you wind up, right there. So right above the outer portion of the kneecap, knee and toe are still pointing down. If we rotate too far down on the IT band, it's fine, it's not going to hurt you, but it's creating a symptom instead of the original problem. If you see your knee go up and toe go up, it's a common mistake. Now we're on the lateral aspect of the hamstring. 
completely different response. Uh, also something that you can phone call, but really not what we're trying to target here, okay? So make sure that you cap them in tow or angle down at that 45 degree angle, okay? Third one we're going to do today are the calves. So to address the calves, we're in this position, we're seated. We have one foot over the phone call. So it's pointed straight up, so I'm on the back of my calf. Below the calf is another muscle called your soleus, which is where your Achilles tendon uh, goes on to from the heel. So I'm going to use my left foot to just push myself up a little bit. I lower the right leg a little more so I get that tension I want on the foam roller. And I'm supporting with hands. I slowly roll straight up the back of the soleus. And then as you get to about mid-low leg, it transitions into your calf muscle, your calf strap. Uh, so you can go straight up and down the middle. You have two heads of your calf muscle. This is going to get the back of both of them. What I recommend is opening up a little bit so you take that toe and knee angle out towards, let's say, 1 to 2 o'clock. Now on the lateral aspect of that calf, I get the outer head, and that's where I want to put a little more tension. And I'm going to roll slowly up and down that. So we're a little more focused on the areas that can get tighter and overactive from misuse of the movement patterns. I'm moving with my one inch per second tempo again. I go all the way up to the back of the calf where it hooks on into the back of the knee. Stop there and slowly roll back. If you don't feel much tenderness there and your shoulders are okay in this position, you can double your weight there, take the left leg off the ground, still make sure the right toe pointed out towards one or two o'clock, and slowly roll all the way back down. Feel a little more tension here, and be a little more effective. All right, so those are our three. Uh, today we covered the middle of the quad, right? So our initial position was straight down the center. We hit the lateral quad, which is really problematic and pretty tender. And then we hit the outer head of the gas drop, and then down into the soleus. So those are the three that I want you guys to start and playing, and then we can move on from there and add a couple other areas. Thank you, appreciate your time.